Well, friends, it's raining, but that's not going to stop us. No, it's not. We are going into thrift stores and the Dollar Tree. We're doing all the things. Let's pop up this umbrella and go. Thanks again also to CTC Math for sponsoring today's video. Be sure friends to head to ctcmath.com forward slash LFT for 50% off plus six months free for help with your students math. I love these little baby cards, but I have more hope. I'm going to go for the little bit bigger cart today. Always my favorite part of this store is the books. Oh, look at those little ones. I always love all the educational books that they have at this thrift store. They have a lot of books from local public and private schools and also donated books. And look at that. They have some cute little hand puppets for story time. They have other educational materials and it's just a homeschool mom's hopes and dreams. And that book, you can't taste a pickle with your ear. Hey, that makes sense. Books on gravity and electricity. So many good history books and encyclopedias. I love to visit it. Even if I happen to have a trip where I may not get 100 books. Oh, there's a book on mummies. <laughs> I didn't want to bring that one home right now. Uh, but anyway, there's lots of wonderful books to look at. And I did pick up a couple. I was just, I was resisting, but I still look feathers for lunch. Oh, so many good ones. So many good ones that do need to come home with me. And we definitely have a fun time looking at all that this thrift store has to offer. They just have it all. Tons of books, a cricket in Times Square. Many of these are great ones that I've read to my children many times as well. Just so many great books to look at for sure. Yeah, I love all the Beverly Cleary books. And then they have unique children's books over here. Stuart Little we've read, so many great ones. Now I'm also looking at here, they have records, they have hats, they have old vintage VHS tapes, what's that? Instant Pot Baby Food, <laughs> lots of great titles. Now I do pick up that giant dot to dot animals book because this is right up a couple of my kiddos alley. And I think the dot to dots went to like 2000 or so. And I know they're going to love that. It's a giant book. There's some good dog training tips. I picked that up as well. They have books on baseball and sports. So many things. They have clothing. And of course, I like to look at the dishes, all the little sweet sets that they have available. do enjoy looking at all their baskets. We did resist and you know I have to check in on the afghans. Sometimes there's just a special afghan. I kept going back to that one. So there might be a special one that I like to pick up. And of course, just like Walmart and everywhere else, they are ready for Christmas. They've got lots of decorations in here as well. Also some bowling balls. I mean, you never know when those will come in handy. They have furniture here. That couch seemed pretty low to me, but it was in good shape. Look at that vintage high chair, some beach chairs.
They have lots of pictures on the wall in this room, some horse prints, different plates and special cups. I like the different little embroideries that they will have. They also have a lot of fabric on the other side of this room, which is good because fabric is expensive and they'll have antique side tables and different pieces, different headboards. Some very beautiful, beautiful peaches. Pe yeah, beautiful peaches, uh-huh. Beautiful peaches, beautiful pieces. And I'm getting that little boat with the animals for bubble bath time at my house. My two-year-old will love that. And I like to see what else they have. Hey, they got some silverware and utensils there. Measuring cups, little kitty timer. I will say it is hard. It's hard to run it out of thrift stores in all this rain that we're having. We'll make the best of it though. And now we are in another thrift store in my area and those boots are so cute. That'll be for my 10 year old. She'll really enjoy those. I like to look at all the clothes in case they have something that would be in my toddler size. And they have some dresses and blankets. I like to visit these dresses. I almost got them, but then I was like, okay, it's cold and rainy in October. I did get a pair of pajama pants for one of my tall boys. That was, uh, those were Eddie Bauer brand and they were a size medium men's. I have boys in all sizes here. I like to visit that dress as well. Not pull it off the hanger though. Then they have these variety shelves in this thrift store. It's just a hodgepodge of items. You never know exactly what you'll find. There's a little science kit that they had and it's just all kind of mixed up together. So you feel like you're treasure hunting, which I appreciate. Hey, some Nerf guns there. And they do have a lot of books and DVDs in this thrift store also, oh, The Queen. If I watch TV, I would watch that. I would like to watch TV, but I'm just not at this, <laughs> this season of life. But winter's coming. Maybe I'll get a little TV time in this winter, right? Hopes and dreams. So I just like to peruse the books and see if any titles catch my eye. Although I'm living with audiobooks right now also. appreciate these little bags that are, will be a couple bucks but have a bunch of random toys and we've had this drum set a couple different times with the different toys in there and they can play the drum on the top of course we have to visit the other chicken and now we are heading out for other adventures well extra fun friends you know we we like adventure around here so my mom and the kids are home and of course we're having all this rain and a tree branch, tree branch fell on the house. Busted a hole in the roof. Busted a hole in the dining room, the baby kitchen area that actually coincidentally was really truly scheduled to be ripped out this coming week. And I also had a whole tree crew coming this week. I mean, they're, they're still gonna be coming uh, to remove the trees around the house because of tree limbs and other adventures so so that's how my day's going <laughs> um, everyone is fine thankfully everyone's fine I called my insurance company called the people I could but just we weren't we weren't planning this so things are handled um, other than I've got emergency roofer calls in and I'm hopeful that I can get someone to come cover the area in plastic at least until, I don't know, until whatever the next thing is that needs to happen, it's gonna happen. So, thinking thoughts. They cleaned up the drywall that fell. There's light, a light in the attic. There's light in the attic. And this was not on my to-do list for my thrift store shop and a Dollar Tree video, but my mom did tell me everything is okay and I have my phone calls in. Really, if I went home right now and stopped shopping and filming, I couldn't do anything. So, 
I mean, I'm gonna pay the emergency roofer <laughs> when, he call, when he comes and calls it back. And I have a friend, uh, another message in, and the contractor has done some stuff for us to see if he's available on a Saturday evening when I'm filming this to come out and climb on the roof and cover it in plastic. So, exhale. I'll show you when we get home. Let's head to Dollar Tree now and do that. Well, the church bells are ringing just in time and we are going into Dollar Tree. Yes, we are. You know I hit some other stores. Obviously, today is another day because we got new feather earrings on. Yes and amen. Let's go and see what's new at Dollar Tree as well. Thanks again to CTC Math for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to head to ctcmath.com forward slash LFT for 50% off plus six months free your child's online math curriculum. CTC Math is for children grades K through 12. With CTC Math, your students can learn at their own pace, not somebody else's. They're able to build confidence and have 24-7 unlimited access to CTC Math when you want it. You can catch up on math and get ahead. CTC Math offers video tutorials. These tutorials last around four to nine minutes and they present the concepts of the math lessons step by step. Following each math tutorial, there's interactive questions and the optional printable worksheet which tests the understanding of key concepts. What's very nice is CTC Math offers one-page summaries. This is a printable one-page summary of each tutorial and that provides the student with a concise and complete notes from the math tutorial itself. This is an ideal, helpful tool for homework, revision, and review. With CTC Math, lessons are short and to the point. Your students are able to learn at their own speed. In the video, tutorial, in the video tutorials, your children can stop and rewind the teacher as many times as they need until they get it. You're able to improve math results using multi-sensory methods which ensure retention. As a parent, you get detailed progress reports, and it's a whole lot less stress when it's math time for both, for both the parents and the kids. You get unlimited access to all lessons across all grade levels, starting at kindergarten all the way through calculus. CTC Math guides kids through math lesson by lesson. With CTC Math, you can give your kids the freedom to learn without stress at home in their own time. All results are recorded so that progress can easily be seen. Every CTC math lesson is presented in the simplest, most logical way possible. Each math lesson lasts under 10 minutes. With CTC math, you can join more than 217,000 students now confident in math because finally they can do it. Also, CTC Math Bonus Points Friends has a course planner coming soon. The new course planner is designed to let you set a whole year's worth of work in just a few clicks, so be sure to be on the lookout for that too. Thanks again to CTC Math for sponsoring today's video. Head to ctcmath.com forward slash LFT for 50% off plus six months free for help with your child's math, yay. So now we finally made it into Dollar Tree and we can see all the new things at Dollar Tree. They have a lot of great fall and harvest decorations. Of course, the other half of the store is Christmas, but it's October and this is what I'm focusing on right now. I love all of these little signs and their scarecrows and their pumpkins and all of their autumn flowers. And then here we are, here's some Christmas so we can get a peek at the ornaments that are at the Dollar Tree and their different little Christmas decorations. They got some little plaid bells there, lots of little festive Christmas things, little owls, glitter pine cones, what more could you need? Thank you, Dollar Tree. <laughs> and the price is right, the, the now the Dollar 25 store, right? Different Christmas decorations there. And I do like to look at all the kid items and all of the hair goodies that they have. I picked up this little pair. Well, not that one. Those kitty ears looked a little sad. I got a pair of kitty ears that still looked like it was hanging together there for my little kitty girl. I knew she would appreciate that. 
I always like to look at all of the wrapping paper and birthday party supplies that are at Dollar Tree as well. This Dollar Tree is very well stocked. I liked those kitty birthday bags and I like to look at their different craft supplies and toys. I have several, all of my kids, all of my kids are crafty kids, but I have two currently who are really into doing these kind of little woodworking projects, my six-year-old and my eight-year-old. So I got six of these total thinking that they would each do two. And let me tell you, yes, they did. Fast, quick, and in a hurry. They were so proud. The glue worked. It was hopes and dreams. And so I was like, oh, maybe I should have got 10. So they each could have done five, but that's okay. That's it. Dollar Tree makes you feel like a big spender. I like to look at all of their toys just to see what they have and to get ideas for other things. You know, you gotta appreciate a nice, uh, and they have a lot of great craft supplies at this Dollar Tree as well. So you'll have to be sure to check your local Dollar Tree for all their craft supplies. Here's some cute kitchen signs and uh, Christmas, Christmas items they had. And now we are over, look at this, over in the school supplies. And I am going to pick up a few things that some of my kiddos would enjoy while I'm here at Dollar Tree in the school supply section. You got to appreciate, uh, you know, paper clips and <laughs> everything. They just have it all. I wanted to get them each a new pencil holder for their binder. And so we go through and we pick out six new pencil holders because I have six active homeschooling kiddos plus a toddler. And so my homeschooling kids needed new pouches. It's just convenient for them at the table to have what they need ready to go in their binder. And so I try to just pick out cute little pouches there for my six, eight, and 10 year old. And then I try to pick out just plain pouches for my 12, 14, and 17 year old. Cause you know, you don't always know what they think is cute. So I was just trying to play it safe. And now we are looking at more craft supplies. I like all their different mirror projects and wood projects. I know you crafty people do lots of things here with these Dollar Tree supplies. And I love their stickers they have in this Dollar Tree. So I did pick out some special stickers for six, eight, 10 year olds, because I know that that age group in particular is going to appreciate some koala bear and pig and sloth stickers. And they were oh so cute. My two year old will be getting into those pretty soon. He had some monster truck stickers the other day he really liked also. I have all kinds of things that you need for your vehicles here. And I've been doing a lot of Epsom salt baths. Usually it's kind of my routine right now. I've been walking 10 to 15 miles most days. And then in the evening, a uh, late evening, basically around bedtime, I'll take a hot Epsom salt bath. So they had some lavender Epsom salt little pods there. I thought I would try. And now, yeah, everything's getting the sniff test. I'm just not so sure. Um, yep. <laughs> Mama's trying to see, does this smell good or not? Not so sure. Keep sniffing. Okay. Good job, olfactory nerve. Couldn't find nothing, but we sniffed them, right? Scratch and sniff right here in the Dollar Tree. Got some more dinosaur toothbrushes for my littler fellers. And I was looking at all of their different drinks that they have in their food aisle and lots of snacks. This would be a good place also for road trip snacks. Just like we love our snacks from Sharp Shopper. But this Dollar Tree was very well stocked. And look, they had different kombucha in there. I was like, okay, Dollar Tree. And as, as I always do, I always look at the fat and the carbs. <laughs> All kinds of snacky cakes and cheesy poofs. Mm hmm. Just looking at it all and seeing what they have. They had different cake mixes and cookie mixes. Little pouches of cereal. But again, for $1.25, is that a deal? I, I guess so. I guess so in this day and age, right? They had some different coffee options there. Lots of canned goods. I do like these little chicken salad kits here. We have gotten those before. I never had the buffalo ones, but just regular chicken salad kits are good. Different noodle kits. Yes, they still have beans and rice. 
Again, this Dollar Tree was very well stocked. Little quick and easy dinners. And their freezer section is really phenomenal. I sent a picture to another young adult in my life who needs to, you know, they get easy lunches and they'll drive all the way to Sharp Shopper to get lunches to take to work for the week. And I sent them pictures and I was like, hey, don't forget this Dollar Tree because it's really close. And I mean, everything's $1.25. And I know we love Sharp Shopper, but you could also come and check out this Dollar Tree. Um, so many good options. So they, they did have like frozen okra, which I put in smoothies. <laughs> they did have other frozen vegetables, but then they had quick like hamburgers and cheeseburgers and pancakes and waffles and just quick, quick food when you need it. They had some Lunchables in there lots of great things and they have a huge wall of cleaning supplies so don't forget to check out your Dollar Tree for your cleaning supply needs and I am just looking here to see what they have in ways of a Windex or glass cleaner seeing what's available and here is all their different cups and plastic wear and plates I have a friend that has a real nice harvest set from Dollar Tree that she collected. And we can't forget about the candy and the Reese cups. I didn't get any, I just visited. Okay, we're doing it, friends. We are going into the John Henry General Store. I'm so excited. It's been months. It's been since summer. We need mums. We need some pumpkins, because yeah, all that didn't work out, but let's go make the best of it today at John Henry. Oh boy, we're here. Oh wow, this is interesting. Look at those. I guess you can bake them. Yes, cut in half, half cup water, microwave, nice and apples nice this is what we were trying to grow oh look at the blue hubbard squash over there uh, fall mix these are beautiful and then look at those oh man nice and then we got big pumpkins Wow, these are huge. These are beautiful for six dollars. These are neat. Swan gourds. Acorn squash. We grew some of those. Spaghetti squash. Three dollars. Oh, three for three dollars. Well, now I should do that. But then look at these. Here's my boot for comparison. <laughs> well, those are huge. That beats the Blue Hubbard. What are these? Nice. Lots of apples. Oh, that's smart. Take a picture of the pumpkin when you pay inside. Love it all. Nice pumpkins. Oh, pink banana pumpkins. Okay, let's go see what's inside. Here's a little apple house. This room always smells so good. Lard. Tomatoes, we did do that. Ginger. Still gotta do something with my onions, but they're there. They're curing, right? Ornamental cabbage, five dollars. So I'm really, I'm overwhelmed with the mum choices, but that is what we are here for today. And you know, we've been going through the big house remodel on the exterior. That's a whole other video. I don't know, have you seen that yet? I've only been working on it for six weeks now. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful orange. So nice. Okay.
look at all this. Tis the season. Very nice. I need a bunch. Okay, well we might do something with them later then. Oh nice. So we got six of these variety pumpkins. I'm just gonna kinda put them all around here. We got five. We got two more. It was seven for $49, which when you divide that down, that's good because these are huge, beautiful, locally grown mums. I'd like some more like that, but a little fuller. I should probably behave and get two more that haven't bloomed. That's the thing to do, isn't it? It is, it is. Oh, that one's pretty though. Okay, apparently the limit is seven mums in this vehicle. I've got to fit one more, one more in there. Okay, mums, nothing personal. Well, if nothing else, the vehicle sure smells amazing. Well, friends, it's cold. <laughs> but here are the mums that I'm going to decorate the porch with. And here is our pile of beautiful fall pumpkins and such that will probably end up, well, I'd like to say, hopes and dreams, I'd like to say that we end up cooking them up, and if not, we have a goat <laughs> that will not mind. But here's the moms, they made it through the car ride, and I'm going to space them out on our porch. We have some drywall and construction things happening on the porch, but these will be getting their new home real soon. Thank you so much for watching these various shopping adventures, and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye. Thank you to CTC Math for sponsoring today's video. Go to ctcmath.com forward slash LFT for 50% off plus six months free for help with your kids' math.